So here's our star of the show. Let's give him an obvious name like Jack. And we'll test out a few different ways to carve him up and make him look right for Halloween. So the first thing we're gonna test is probably the cheapest carving kit you can buy. We found this at the dollar store. Then we'll test out a slightly upgraded carving kit. This is a 20 piece kit that we got at Spirit Halloween for under 10 bucks. And last but not least, just some regular household tools. Let's get to work. And you wanna, I should. Is this standard procedure? It's gotta look good for TV. I don't want the pumpkin's agent to be upset. Um, first things first, let's cut the top off. See which one of these guys works best. So this is definitely, you can feel this is pretty cheap plastic. There's a reason why this one's a buck. It's cutting pretty easily. I mean, it's a serrated edge. Is a pumpkin a fruit or a vegetable? God, I love pumpkin pie. Ooh, look at it. That wasn't bad, it cut pretty easily. It did its job. I will say this, the handle's not very comfortable. Now let's scoop this guy out. It's working, but it's kind of slow. Let's see if this guy's any better. They both have kind of two sides on them. One scrapes and then one has teeth. It's working about the same. I'm not sure there's any clear winner yet. Now, let's try the whisk. By the way, my wife said it was cool and I took this from the kitchen. This is wife approved. I don't know if you're supposed to scoop with this. All right, well, that didn't work by itself. I'm making a mess! How did I get this assignment? As long as you're careful not to bend them, they pretty much work the same. Jack with a giant tooth. You know what, let's use a drill bit. Oh yeah. Clean up on aisle six. Final step, we just need a candle and some darkness. All right, moment of truth. It's a little scary in here. Let's light up Jack. I am so bad at that. No, I think that's think a success okay. right there. Uh, I didn't burn myself. Yeah. All right, so here's my final ruling. If you're doing Halloween on a budget, just use what you got in the house. You don't need anything else. But you got kids, you don't want them, you know, your tools lost. You don't want to, you know, you're missing your good knives tomorrow because the kids are, they cut themselves, God forbid. Right, yeah, it's a so, safer. And that's why I like the, the cheap thing. You pick it up, you use it. It's not terribly sharp, but it works. Yeah. You can toss it at the end of the Halloween season. There you go. And I am, which I haven't done yet, and I'm behind, but I had a couple blogs that I used in my research that I'll link to you where I got some of these ideas. Okay, what about the cleanup here? How'd that go? You know, my mother raised me right. Uh -huh. I couldn't leave a mess behind. Good I job. I feel bad about throwing out the pumpkin seeds, but uh, just yeah. to prove it, <laughs> I did sweep the floor. Murray, your garage out there, KPRC2, is uh, all clean. Got to do it. Reset. Stapleton asked, did I clean it up? So <laughs> there's, there's your proof, pal. There they'll, we go. They'll find you around here. Uh, the well, doubters <laughs> want to Right, they will. I was going to say, not only that, you see, you, you were doing it all wrong. There's like an industrial-sized vacuum they have attached to the wall out there in the garage. <laughs>